Toscan Monterici Anni I really need to stop that Italian accent. It's horrendous. Yep, okay. We're gonna walk it here or are we? Okay. Yep, we'll figure it out. Follow my lead. It's alright guys, it's not far to go. We're almost at Montreal Journey. I can see the castle walls right there. Oh god, the Patsy! Oh god. Look at him. Oh shit. Oh, Vieri. How could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! What do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. My condolences for the loss of your father and brothers. <laughs> I don't think so. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, sorry. I was trying to counter kill, but I can't do that. Oh, fuck away from my family. You are fucked, cunt. Oh, good douche. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Horrendous sound effect work. Not there. sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. As you wish. Here, use this. Kill them. Kill them all. Hold, who's he talking to? Like, there's no one there. Let oh yeah, the there. random spawn guys. Of course. Get away from my mother and sister. You fuck. No, I don't care about you. Fuck you, man. Oh! Leg sweep. Okay, stop running. Okay, my family looks safe for now. That's my priority to protect them. And these guys are getting fucked up. The mercenaries look like they've got this. Oh, that guy doesn't actually. He looks kind of getting fucked up. Oh, look at that. I come and steal his kill. I guess we'll be so pissed. He's like, I have him on the ropes. And then I just come out of nowhere and steal his kill. Now this guy's definitely fucked. Oh! Win a winner chicken dinner. You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's, it's a me, Mario. Mario. Uncle Mario. <laughs> it's too long, Ipote. Far too long. I couldn't help myself. I heard what happened in Firenze. Terrible. Come, let's get you all away from here. Fair point. Let's do it. Check out Montregioni. Easily my favorite home base so, in an Assassin's Creed tell title. Me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. And they came for me. Do you know why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I'm literally walking so as fuck like because of you. Johnny. I thought Monterey Johnny was an enemy of Firenze. <sighs> For now. Next year it will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on and on. I cannot keep track, so I have stopped trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow. But I have never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. Oh, the Domenico Auditore on, hints. This place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. Rough around the edges looks like I a wish fucking I could do dump. About it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? 
Here we are. Gaza Dolce Gaza. Home sweet so, home. What do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. Other than Seems it looks like a piece of shit. Suppose. And a dump. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money, should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. So naive, Ezio. There's so much you need to learn. You know nothing, Ezio, at the Toro. Your coin seems genuine. My coin's good enough for you, sir. Time to go hear out Mario. And all that bullshit, you know, classic stuff. Oh, I'm gonna talk to Claudia first. Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. There's no home anymore, Claudia. It's the best we can do. Now talk to Mario. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio! You barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimo. Fine, I'll train. You can swing a sword to be sure. But offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around it, I suppose. Your father was an assassin, you. I love listening to this dialogue. I told you before. My father was a paper pusher. No. He was born and bred. I find this difficult to believe. What is the list you carry? Do you think it's merely a catalogue of debts? It holds the names of those responsible for your father's murder. Yeah, I kind of slowly do this training just so you can hear the great dialogue. I you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? <laughs> you have your father's blade. I figured you have the Codex page you were holding as well. Codex? A guide to the inner workings of the Order. Its origin, purpose, and techniques. Our creed, if you will. <laughs> Father, but the two codex contain a powerful secret. Something that would change the world. For us, it's why we came for him. Assassins, Templars, Codex pages. This is a lot to take in. You need to open your mind, Ezio. Always remember, nothing is true, everything is permitted.
definitely stuff that's not great to skip through. To hear all the dialogue that teaches you, or at least, sorry, teaches Ezio and ideas about the assassins, who he is, who his father is, but also foreshadowing important stuff for the future of the game, like the Codex and why that's important. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? <laughs> yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they were Merely pushed underground where they continued the nefarious work. What work? The Templars seek dominion over man, and we, the Assassins, are sworn to stand against them. I shouldn't have got, got sped through that. There's a lot more to hear. Oh! Take that, Mario. Oh, take that shit, Mario. Let's get some skills. Oh, good douche. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But, Nepote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? mieri has been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Oh, shit. You did a bad thing, Ezio. You're supposed to help out your uncle, bro. You're supposed to, you know, figure it out, I guess. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. I wish to join them. You'll find what you need at the stables. Like, I just showed up. How's he already ridden off and gotten his men ready for a plan? I literally just ran from talking to him. God damn it, Mario. Why are you using portel teleportation? Poor teleportation? Teleportation devices. Jesus Christ. Totally ruined what I was saying. God damn it. Gotta sink that viewpoint with my completionist desires. I will upgrade the villa and do all that shit, as always, when I play these games, but I'm not going to do it during the walkthrough. I'll do that on the side. This walkthrough is for main campaign, pretty much. But I'm a completionist, so therefore I must do all the side stuff as I go, and that'll be out of the walkthrough. Claudia! Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. In time, see. 
Time to go kill Vieri de Pazzi. In one of my favorite missions of the game. Here we are at San Gimignano. This is such an underrated location. Sure, you don't spend a lot of time here, but to get a nice amount of like actual countryside area to play in for open world and do stuff, as well as a nice little city, it's really one of my favorite locations. Very underrated, in my opinion. Very cool city. Ezio, what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene, then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it, so this is where we'll strike. Pronti? Okay then. I'll fuck him up. Sneak you guys in and we've got this. Is there any way you guys can be quicker? That'll be awesome. Alright Ezio, here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, Get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when you are. Then let us begin. Okay. So we got throwing knives. Okay. Let's use some some serious skill here. Oh, good douche. Oh. Uh, gotta help Mario. Gotta be quick. Fuck you. And fuck you too. And the gates are open. Consider me your Trojan horse. Oh! Starting to use my skills now. Oh! Oh, right in the back. He's not walking anytime soon. Let's head in. Yeah, what the fuck are you guys doing just standing there? We are in. This way, man. I don't think this is enough for a siege, I want but you sure. To distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Vieri. Va bene. Wait, nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just <clears throat> to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. Okay. What's Vieri up to now? Charge! But something has him on edge. How else to explain? Oh! You guys are fucked. Let's go, man. Did you just try to hit me? How dare you? Oh! Nice left hand. Dropped him for the finish. Oh, holy shit. Just some of the classic animations for these kills. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. See you later. Nice taunt and celebration. And we move on. Very quiet. City. Let's kill the powerful guard. No, not this one. Let's kill the other one first. Good 
Oh, but there's a few of you. Oh, Kadoosh! Oh man, I feel like my punch would have hurt me since you're wearing a helmet. Stop taunting guys, I literally did everything. Let's hurry up, get the battle up here. Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. How do you know that? You're lying right here. Charge, man! Oh. oh fuck. Just absolutely ah, destroying these guys. My plan is something of a snack. Yeri's men ambushed us, and now we've got our hands. My brothers and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root out that snake. See the justice in that. We'll do, Maria. I'm on it. I have served dukes, princes, king. Are you really trying to sell me shit, merchant? I'm trying to assassinate a guy by attacking your city. Again, no, stop selling me shit. I'm literally sieging your city right now. Oh, catch it! Oh, Etienne, really let me down there by not catching that wall. I'm really disappointed in you right now. We're gonna have a serious chat about this when we get home. Okay, is Vieira here? Ah oh, yes, all the Templars are here. The Patsy family and Rodrigo Borgia. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we're finished. Now, is there anything else? Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Why would all the other Templars have just left the high-ranking, smart, intelligent men not stay back to help? At least, you know, strategize? Instead of just letting Vieri kill him, you know? Yeah, I don't need stealth in this situation, Vieri. I want him to see my fucking face. So if I, Vieri. I'm gonna kill you last. I'm gonna save you till the end. And I'm gonna absolutely fuck you up. But I assume these guys are going to run away right now in a sec. Come on, guys. I'm surprised you haven't run already. The area I'm going to fucking annihilate you for what you've done. And for all the bullshit you've caused me. Personally, not even just my family in the temple. I shit. Literally, just you and me personally as people. I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm doing my hidden blade down. Oh, good douche! Oh, good douche! Sit the fuck down! What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che brutto! Enough, Ezio. Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. 
Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Take this. Read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. I love Italian rants. Absolutely brilliant swearing by Ezio there. Sounds way cooler in Italian. Another Templar dead, another sequence finished. We're getting closer and closer to our final goals.